Hello there, welcome to this video. In today's video we will discuss what is customer acquisition cost of a digital product and how it's helped digital product companies. Feel free to like and share this video in your network and help others to learn and grow. So, have a look, what we will be taking away from this videos. Firstly, we will look into what is customer acquisition cost, CAC. Secondly, we will deep into some of the importance of customer acquisition cost, CAC. Then step down with use cases, customer acquisition, cost of a digital product. Fourthly, steps to calculate customer acquisition cost. And lastly, we will sum up with conclusion. So without further ado, let me deep you to the today's video. What is Customer Acquisition Cost, CAC? Customer Acquisition Cost, CAC, is a metric that calculates the cost of acquiring a new customer. It is a way for businesses to measure how much they are spending on marketing and sales efforts to attract and convert new customers. To calculate CAC, a business needs to add up all the costs associated with acquiring a new customer, including marketing and advertising expenses, sales commissions, salaries of sales and marketing personnel, and any other costs associated with the acquisition process. This total cost is then divided by the number of new customers acquired during the same time period. For example, if a business spends $10,000 on marketing and advertising in a month and acquires 100 new customers during the same period, the CAC would be $100, $10,000 divided by 100. CAC is an important metric for businesses because it helps them determine the effectiveness and efficiency of their marketing and sales efforts. By tracking CAC over time, businesses can identify trends and adjust their strategies to optimize their customer acquisition costs. Important Importance of Customer Acquisition Cost CAC, for a Digital Product Customer Acquisition Cost CAC, is an important metric for any business, especially for digital products, as it helps them determine the profitability of their marketing and sales efforts. Here are some reasons why CAC is important for a digital product. Budget Allocation Knowing the CAC helps businesses allocate their marketing and sales budgets effectively. If the CAC is high, it may indicate that the product's marketing strategy needs to be adjusted, or the cost structure needs to be reviewed. Pricing Strategy Understanding the CAC can help businesses price their digital product effectively. If the CAC is high, it might be challenging to set a price that will attract customers while still generating a profit. Customer Lifetime Value CAC can help businesses determine the lifetime value of their customers. If the cost of acquiring a customer is too high, it may not be worth pursuing that particular customer. In contrast, if the cost of acquiring a customer is low, it may be worth investing in retention strategies to keep that customer engaged. Revenue Forecasting Understanding the CAC can help businesses forecast their revenue accurately. By knowing how much it costs to acquire a customer, businesses can calculate how many customers they need to acquire to reach their revenue targets. CAC is a crucial metric for businesses that offer digital products. By understanding the cost of acquiring a customer, businesses can optimize their marketing and sales strategies, improve their pricing strategies, and forecast their revenue accurately. Use, use Cases Customer Acquisition Cost CAC. Customer Acquisition Cost CAC, has several use cases across different industries and businesses. Here are some common use cases for CAC. Budget Optimization CAC can help businesses optimize their marketing and sales budgets. By understanding the cost of acquiring a customer, businesses can allocate their resources effectively to achieve their marketing and sales goals. Pricing Optimization CAC can help businesses determine the optimal pricing for their products or services. By knowing the cost of acquiring a customer, businesses can set prices that generate profits while still being competitive. Performance Measurement CAC can help businesses measure the performance of their marketing and sales efforts. By comparing CAC with other performance metrics such as Customer Lifetime Value CLV, and Customer Retention Rate, businesses can identify areas for improvement and optimize their strategies accordingly. Customer Segmentation CAC can help businesses identify which customer segments are the most profitable. By analyzing the CAC for each customer segment, businesses can prioritize their marketing and sales efforts on the most profitable segments. 
Acquisition Channel Optimization CAC, can help businesses identify the most effective acquisition channels. By analyzing the CAC for each acquisition channel, businesses can focus their efforts on the channels that generate the most cost-effective customer acquisition. Revenue Forecasting CAC can help businesses forecast their revenue accurately. By knowing the cost of acquiring a customer, businesses can calculate how many customers they need to acquire to achieve their revenue targets. CAC has several use cases across different industries and businesses. By understanding the cost of acquiring a customer, businesses can optimize their marketing and sales strategies, improve their pricing strategies, and forecast their revenue accurately. How to Calculate Customer Acquisition Cost CAC. Here are the steps to calculate customer acquisition cost CAC. Identify the time period, determine the specific time period for which you want to calculate the CAC. This could be a month, a quarter, or a year. Add up all marketing and sales costs, calculate all the costs associated with acquiring customers during the time period. This includes marketing expenses such as advertising costs, content creation, email marketing, social media, and events. It also includes sales costs such as salaries and commissions of salespeople, bonuses, and other incentives. Add up all the costs of customer acquisition, this includes all expenses related to customer acquisition, such as referral programs, discounts, and promotions. Add up all the costs of customer retention, this includes costs associated with customer service, support, and other activities aimed at retaining customers. Divide the total costs by the number of new customers acquired, after adding up all the costs, divide the total costs by the number of new customers acquired during the time period. This will give you the CAC for that period. Analyze the results, compare your CAC to industry benchmarks and your own historical CAC data to determine how well your customer acquisition costs are performing. Look for trends or changes over time and adjust your marketing and sales strategies accordingly. By following these steps, you can calculate your CAC and use the information to make informed decisions about your marketing and sales strategies. Conclusion in conclusion, Customer Acquisition Cost CAC, is a crucial metric that measures the cost of acquiring a new customer. CAC is essential for businesses that want to optimize their marketing and sales strategies, improve pricing strategies, and forecast revenue accurately. By understanding the cost of acquiring a customer, businesses can allocate resources effectively, prioritize customer segments, and identify the most cost-effective acquisition channels. The steps to calculate CAC include identifying the time period, adding up all marketing and sales costs, adding up all the costs of customer acquisition and retention, dividing the total costs by the number of new customers acquired, and analyzing the results. By using CAC, businesses can make informed decisions that will help them acquire customers more efficiently and generate higher profits. Hope you find this video valuable, feel free to like, share and subscribe this channel. Your single, like on this video, keeps us motivated to bring more valuable content like this. Thank you for your support. See you in the next video. Till then keep learning, keep growing.